All right. All right. Live broadcasting. The line wouldn't be disconnected because it's raining in the middle. So then it's just so loud. Sound. Like and then, okay, still no. Still won't let me record live in the group. So there we go. It's a thing. I know someone gave me like directions on how to do it and it was like pages long. So <laughs> I'll figure that out later. We are recording. So that is good. It will be posted in the group because uh, you are going to want to watch the replay. If you uh, want this replay and all replays emailed to you, Joanna will put a link in there for you to fill out. Don't fill it out if you already filled it out because you're already getting the replays in your email. So anyway, today is going to be amazing because we're talking about one of my favorite things called Street Text. Uh, street Text is a lead generation tool system that I've been using for about four years and it works It works really, really well. So um, anyway, I'm going to just kind of dive into my system and show you everything it does do. Uh, and I'm going to show you a couple different ways I use it, run ads, and um, we're going to go from there. So we are going to just share screen. And uh, if you haven't heard of Street Text, we will be dropping uh, a link in the chat for you too for a seven day free trial so uh, so that you could check it out. All right, so a couple of things um, about Street Text is number one, it's just basically a point and shoot system, you know? So if anybody has ever ran ads in Ads Manager, <laughs> You are going to love me because this is the opposite of that headache. Uh, so basically, uh, you can run ads for uh, your property listings, open houses, PDFs, like, you know, staging tips, getting your home ready to sell, stuff like that, uh, videos, retargeting, ad bundles, like we're going to go over all of it today. So I'm going to start out with just something really simple which is one of my favorite ads. And uh, so this is Street Text. This is the platform. This is what it looks like when you hop in here. So um, it kind of gives you a little uh, bullet list of everything that's going on over here, some tags, audiences. So um, all your contacts, if you uh, go there, you can see what kind of conversations you're having and, you know, uh, Sometimes you can use it as a CRM, but I, I I don't I don't recommend it. So I have all of my leads going into KB Core and into Follow Up Boss because we use both systems. So um, anyway, uh, if you want to go and let's say you want to do, uh, what's your home really worth? Who's who's looking to get some sellers today? Anybody want some sellers? Okay. This is a super easy ad to run. You're basically going to click on create new ad. And then you're gonna uh, go over here and click on seller because there's so many to choose from. Like you have so many here that they've already created for you. Like these are all created and you can just go in and pick what you wanna do. So um, this right here is one of my favorite ads. What's your home really worth? Uh, it, sometimes it works in, areas sometimes it doesn't work as good in areas so it just depends on where you're located but I definitely give you I give it like three or four days before before I even judge it because it takes Facebook almost that long to um uh, work on the algorithm so we're gonna go here and uh we're gonna say select map image I know super boring right Sometimes boring works. People know, oh, I live here. Hmm, maybe I'll stop and click on it. So anyway, I've tried to do these amazing strip view photos and, you know, welcome to Las Vegas sign. And trust me, the map just works better. But in your area, it might be a little different. But how easy was that, right? It just kind of points to the map. You can like scroll in, scroll out, like say you want to 
really focus on Henderson. You can focus on Henderson right there. And then that's what your image will look like there. So whatever you wanna do. And then you're gonna click next and then you're gonna drop a pin, let's say Henderson, Nevada. And obviously it's a 15 mile radius, which is almost all of Las Vegas. So guess what? I just crank it up to 50 because we literally work this entire area. So anyway, and then you just click done. You don't have to click 50 miles if you don't want to drive 50 miles. You could keep it at 15. So anyway, but those are all the people I'm going to be targeting. And then I'm going to click next. I'm going to do $7 a day and I'm going to do three split tests. And people are like, why do you do the same picture, the same words, targeting the same audience? You know, because... Facebook's algorithm is super weird and there's always going to be one ad that works better than the other ones. So I do three split tests. I don't look at them for a few days and then I come in and I turn off the ones that aren't doing well and I keep the one that is doing well. And then I also add in Instagram because I want to be on there as well. So uh, this is important right here. Right here, it's saying that it's going to have a seller tag but I always think I want, uh, let's say, oops, I just accidentally locked my screen. That's so funny. <laughs> okay, so I have a lot of tags, but let's say I want to do a luxury home value and I'm going to click on Sarah. Sarah is my ISA and she calls my leads for me. So if you want to do that, if, if it's like a property ad, I always put in the property address. You know, if it's like pool homes list in Las Vegas, I put Las Vegas pool homes because when it comes into my CRM, then I can see which ad it came from and I don't have to go look it up and try to figure it out. Anyway, and then you just click on deploy and then you're gonna have three ads running for home value. Isn't that cool? How easy is that, right? I could spend your money like that. <laughs> so anyway, um, that is the most simplest one. And the reason I like this one is because it has a nine month funnel attached to it. So, uh, you know, those funnels people are always talking about. Well, this one already has it. It already has it there. Okay, then you're going to click finish. And then when you go back to your ads, this is kind of important. And you only have to do this once. You only have to do this once. So if I find this home value one, I'm gonna look at edit automation. And this is the nine month funnel that goes behind it. So basically there's an, uh, an email showing uh, right here, quick question. Let me move us. You can click on this pencil. And you can automate it, you know, I mean, you can uh, customize it, humanize it and make it your own. So how to get the most for your uh, home, uh, hidden hazards of overpricing, those loose leverage, like they already have all of these built out for you. And you can go and pop in your videos and, uh, you know, change the words a little bit, make it sound a little bit more like you. And also they also have text. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom, uh, you'll see right here, SMS message. So you can customize all those too. So you don't have to though. I literally started street text and this funnel kept running for like three months <laughs> and I was getting appointments and I was getting leads. So so it does it for you, but you know, I, I do know after I like added my uh, touch to it, it actually did a lot better. So um, so humanizing is super important. Uh, okay, so next ad you can run, create new ad, is like an open house ad. So who's doing open houses here? Anybody doing open houses? Okay, because this is one of the best ads to run. It works really well. See how this is like first on the list right here? The list of all of these ads? It's because it is the best performing ad. That's how they like, that's how they do these. So uh, they put them 
you can even look at the stats. Like this is how many clicks, this is the average cost per lead, cost, cost per phone number, email, you know, 906 people are using it. Anyway, it works really good. So you just select this. And then uh, let's say Henderson, three bedroom, two bath. Uh, we'll just say, there we go. We'll just pop that in. Obviously you wanna say something that is relevant to that, but you could do uh, May, May 8th, admit Lanny, May 8th, and then uh, 11 to 2.30. So there's something like that. You're gonna take this ad off and maybe, uh. You can either upload an image or use one of your other images that you have. Let's say, we're just gonna grab that one next. And then you're gonna put a URL in here to your website uh, for your property website, not just your website. So say, uh, we're gonna go to my listings. Um, <laughs> We are not making this go live because this is Las Vegas. I already put in Henderson and it's incorrect all the way around. But anyway, if you have a direct link to your website, you absolutely can go there. Or um, like this one right here, we use AVIA Media to do our um, property uh, websites. So this is the one I would use just because I want to drive them to the video, to all the pictures, to all the good stuff, the flyers, the 3D tour, and the map. So, um, so that's the one that I would put in there. Oops. I guess I need to click copy. Hold on. Copy. And then paste. There it is. Next. Same thing, drop a pin. You could do Las Vegas, 50 miles, done, next. Same thing, three split test, Instagram. This one I would put, you know, 212 uh, Tigway. So add right there and deploy. I'm not gonna deploy it because everything is incorrect on this page. <laughs> But anyway, that's how easy it is to run, right? So same thing with new listing for sale in this area. So if you have a listing, this is this is amazing. Like these generate so many leads for my agents. You know, obviously I can't work them all. So I do have a small team here in Las Vegas and they get all the buyer leads coming out of here. So um, anyway, so listings are golden. If you don't have a listing, this is is also one of my favorite ones. So it says, see all available home type for sale in your city. And so basically you can do anything with this. So you gotta think, what are people looking for in your town or your city? Uh, you know, are they looking for pool homes because it's 120 here in the summer? Or are they looking for beachfront properties or horse properties? or uh, RV parking, you know, like huge garages, like whatever you want to do, Homes on Anchorage, you can do right here and you just click select. And then we're going to say uh, pool homes. So this is what it looks like. See all available pool homes for sale in Las Vegas. Get a list of pool homes, right? So then, uh, like I said, you can either upload a file or use one of your images. I actually have a pool home that we just had. This is a pretty one. So you want to try to find something to stop the scroll, you know, and it, wants to, it has to be relevant. If you do RV parking, make sure you have an RV parking home. If you have horse properties, make sure there's a horse in it or whatever. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't have to have a horse, but you know what I mean? So um, anyway, this is what the ad looks like. And then you're just going to click next. And then you're going to go over here to KB Core. If you don't have KB Core, go to your website, right? And we have this cool thing called squeeze pages. So uh, we can go Las Vegas, Las Vegas, and then we can scroll down here to options and type in pool. So these are going to be all the pool homes in Las Vegas. 
And I go here and I say never. This is the most important part right here. This is uh, allow them to look at, at as many pictures without registering. The thing is, is it's super important because they are already clicking on your ad in street text and they're giving you their name, email, and phone number. If they go do that and then get this link and then it asks them to register again, they're going to be super mad at you. So don't forget wherever you're grabbing this information from, make sure that they don't have to register. So then you're just going to click generate link, copy to clipboard. I always, always, always look at it first before I run an ad because I want to make sure I didn't mess up. So yes, there are 2,400 homes here in Las Vegas that have a pool. So there you go. <laughs> you guys have limited inventory, send them our way. We got a lot. <laughs> okay, then you want to go back. Oh no, I just closed it out of my street text thing. Shoot, okay. Well, well, darn it. That was so good too. But this is how fast you could do it. Okay, see all available pool homes in Las Vegas. Right here, your images. This pool home is actually in Henderson, but whatever. Oh, this one is Las Vegas. Let's do this one. So then you got that. Then you go back here and put your link in, your squeeze page link that we just went and got. And then you're going to click next. You're going to drop a pin in Las Vegas. And again, I'm just going to do the holding area. Next. Three. Instagram. And then I'll do pool homes. That'll be, that will be the tag that comes through. That way, everybody that sees this lead coming in knows exactly where it came from. Deploy. Oh my gosh, isn't that crazy? We just ran nine different ads. Like, what time is it? In 17 minutes. <laughs> okay, so those are the easiest ads to run. I mean, they're all really easy to run, but um, those are my favorites. And then I'm going to show you, so I don't know who does video here, but I may do a couple videos. And so I fell in love with them being able to run video through here now. So when I first started with Street Text, they didn't have this feature and now they do. And it's amazing. So um, you're just going to go up here to ads and then create a new ad a new ad today okay and then you're going to narrow it down by video okay so there's a couple different ways you can do video um you can either do one uh like you know do a reach like in your area you want branding you want people to see you you want new people to see you uh you could do a branding ad it's kind of like a reach ad right through here or you could do retargeting so uh, right now we're just going to do uh, a branding ad. And my favorite one to do is right over here. It has the black with the lights. Um, there's several different ones you can use, but this is the one that I use uh, when I'm not using um, retargeting. So Hopefully it doesn't take too long to upload the video, but I grabbed a shorter video so I could show you guys. And you're just going to click here. And you're going to upload your video. While that's uploading, does anybody have any questions? Let's see. All right. Raise your virtual hand or put it in the chat. Okay, Chris, good morning. Good morning. Hey, I just had a question in regards to like um, Chris's program. So are you doing this in combination with her funnels too? So you do you recommend doing both? This just seems so much easier. 
Okay, so I'm not going to get in trouble here today. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not here to stir up the shit. But so I am in Chris's program. She did teach me how to do video. Amazing. Yeah. I used street text before I met Krista. So, okay. so I use street text to run my video ads. Yes. Um, uh, that, you know, that, that I'm doing through her, uh, but yeah, I'm using the street text funnels because it's super easy. Like it was. So like right now I'm running two ads a week, right? Mm -hmm. um, so um, I'm running them at like $7 a day. So I would just, this is basically going to take place of that because I haven't gotten any leads yet. I've been doing it for. About... Okay. So you're, you, you're doing reach ads though. Okay. Now so post engagement, post engagement and video views. Okay. Right. Because you want people to just get to know, like, and trust you. Yeah. That is not a lead gen. That's not like actually bringing leads in. It's getting people to get to know, like, and trust you. So there's a couple different ones. So okay. right now you're in reach, your engagement, and then you're going to be out running lead ads. So uh, you will get there. You will get there. But yes, I, I've been, like I said, I ran lead ads through street text for a year or two before I even met Krista. So then I took those videos and I retargeted all those leads. You know what I mean? So I did it just a little bit different, but, um, but you can definitely use it to point to your funnels that you're creating in Krista's program. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you I was just thinking this sounds great, like to get some leads in between while I'm waiting for that whole system to kick in. Cause I'd like to get some leads and I've got like listings coming up and stuff like that. And I'm, you know, I don't know. I'm just ready to get going, getting some. Right. Business no, coming this in. is definitely a good uh, lead tool, you know, because I know I, it, it's hard to just sit there and, and do the things for months without the leads coming in. So yeah, I mean, I use it. I love it. Uh, Bonnie, you have a question. I do. On your, when you went to your KB Core Squeeze page mm -hmm. and built that, the, did you put in a hashtag there? Did I miss it? I just put in pool. So in the options at the very bottom of the search, you can do like yeah. one story, you could do pool, you can, you know, you can do whatever it is, like ocean view, lakefront. Mm -hmm. Like whatever your MLS has, it should come right in there so that you can uh, grab it. Does so you sense? on the page configuration, you didn't add a hashtag or anything. No, I did Las Vegas pool. Okay. And then you copied the full length, not the shortened. Yeah, I do the full length. It's masked. So nobody will see that. It just works a little bit better sometimes than the shortened one. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Jamie, you have a question? Yeah, so uh, so we're in Florida, and obviously we have a lot of people moving there from other areas. And so I'm trying to find out, you know, I don't want to drop a pin to target an audience locally. I'm trying to target, you know, from the move from areas. So has anybody found a great, like, Yes. way to know where to target exactly yeah so um i'm going to share my screen again i'll come back and get some more questions answered in just a little bit um uh, the video is still processing yay okay so this is my cheat tool right here it's called allied um and so when i click on nevada and i click on las vegas i can see where people are moving from and i can see where people are moving to so when I run, so say I get a luxury listing, guess what? I am definitely running an ad to LA, San Diego, Anaheim, Chicago. Uh, Washington was on here, but I guess now Denver, Colorado. That's funny. They replaced Washington. Anyway. Can you do that so, again, Wendy, where you started? How did you get, what is that, allied? That's here, I'll put it in the chat. So That is perfect. Oh my God. You click on the state. This is, their, this is your cheater tool. It's amazing. So this is where you, um, I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, this is exactly what I need right now. Um, this shows you where people are moving to. Like I'm in yeah, California, so, so I click on California first. Yeah, so you're going to click on California and then you're going to find the biggest city near you. 
Uh-huh. So if you were San Diego, uh, this is where people are moving from to move to San Diego. If you're more like LA area, LA. this is where people are. Yeah. So you, you can run ads going to there. So I also do like, remember how we did a list of pool homes? I do lists of luxury homes. So I'll do luxury homes and then I'll target those areas. And we get so many leads because and you just drop a pin in Chicago. Uh huh. Yep. New York. Absolutely. So oh, this is exactly what I need right now. Thank you. Sorry. But, to so when is this a cost those for lead, Allied? Lead, lead ads? No, Allied is free. Are, are you using it mostly with lead ads? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, because when I want, like, if I go here, oh, tell me. Okay, so say I go here and I'm doing, like, a market update, right? So I'm doing a market update for luxury homes. Uh, I want to run it locally, right? Because I'm looking for sellers. That Tyson, sell. what is wrong? Oh, I'm sorry. My cat. You're yelling at your cat? <laughs> okay. I've never heard of anybody else. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, so, so I would go to... Uh, chat GPT and uh, do a little, you know, write me a Facebook description based on this video. And then I'm going to put that there. Yes, I know chat GPT isn't everything. You can tweak it the way you want it, whatever. But this is what I have in here. And then maybe a uh, uh, luxury, luxury market, market update. Actually, it should be like Las Vegas. Las Vegas luxury market update. And then you can either pick one of the thumbnails from your video or you can upload uh, one of your photos. I just don't know. I think this is it. I tried to get ready for you guys. So here would be, yep, here's your thumbnail. So you can you can select that. And then you're going to go next. And this is where you're going to either like run your reach ad so that you can get people to know, like, and trust you, you know, and get uh, new people looking at you would be right here. This is just awareness. Okay. If I want to get people to go to my website, right, I could possibly go to um, my website here and then we want to take them there once they watch my video and I can put the destination right there. So uh, they'll be clicking here, learn more and going to, um, you can change this to watch more, learn more, or you could say watch more and you can take them to your YouTube channel, all of your market updates or or all of your listing videos or, you know, there's the, the possibilities are just endless, right? So then you go next. And so uh, with what you were saying, Jamie, this is where you would go like uh, Los Angeles. Boom, there you go. You know, Los Angeles, San Diego, like wherever people are moving from. But for this video, I want to only target here because I'm looking for sellers wanting to sell right here. So uh, that's where I would go there and then just click next. Also include Instagram and next. Seven days, split test, not deploy. So, isn't that cool? So you could do um, that. Uh, you can run your video ads like this, but then I'm also going to show you how I um, run video ads for retargeting. This is my favorite thing. So when I first started with Street Text, it was all about just running ads super easy for everybody. But now they have, well, they call it remarketing. So you're going to remarket to everybody that's been on your Facebook page and in, has engaged with you, everybody on Instagram, all your people that have watched videos, all of your people in your CRM. Another reason I use follow-up boss, because yes, I do have KB Core, but follow-up boss I had before I came here to EXP. And it has like 86,000 leads in it and I can retarget them because follow-up boss works with street text like this. 
So anybody that goes into follow-up boss automatically is an audience. So that's what I love. So if I upload a whole neighborhood of people, because I'm trying to target, you know, 10 luxury neighborhoods, I can upload them all to follow up boss and boom, they are now a luxury audience. So you can do so much with this. It's insane. Okay. So real quick, because I know we are uh, at the half point. So, and I want to get into some other things, uh, create new ad. So this is how you can do a, I'm going to do another video, video ad, uh, but I'm also going to click on remarketing. So if you do sign up, make sure you sign up for remarketing because this piece is gold, gold. Uh, so here you have a couple different choices. I always pick this middle one right here. And then it will pop up and let you put your video in. We'll answer some more questions while my video is uploading. Uh, Wendy, can I ask a quick question? You can. Sorry, I was trying to raise my hand, but my option isn't working. Um, <laughs> how did you get those? How did you get those um, neighborhood contacts? The luxury okay. neighborhood contacts? Yeah, so that is a whole different Tech Tuesday. So go into the Tech Tuesday group and type in retargeting uh, or neighborhoods, something like that. We did a whole session on exactly how I did that. Okay. Um, and yeah, it's it's a little bit longer of a conversation than we'll, we'll do. All right, thanks. But yeah, no, super cool stuff. All right, uh, we have time for a couple more questions. Guy, you have a question? Is there a reach ad yes, in the text? Yes, I do. So um, actually three three questions, I think I, okay. I was trying to ask you. First, tech, uh, the street text, that's 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 in um, something that you, a software you add, you can add it to K, uh, KV Core. It's a paid software or? Yeah, so free? you do have to pay for street text. There is a fee. <laughs> Uh, if you use the seven day free trial that Joanne will put in there, um, okay. that will be free for seven days. But uh, if you go monthly, it's two fifty a month uh, to have the the ads and the retargeting. Okay, so, was it two two fifty? You mean two hundred fifty? Okay, and that all right. So now your now. Spend. Okay, so now when you, I saw the when you tap into the like houses with pool, so all the houses that came up, does street text will already have that data or it has to be connected with the MLS that you are a member of? Right. So when we get your KV Core set up, your yeah. KV Core is going to be connected to your MLS. And yes, the squeeze page that we help you set up, you're going to use that and it's always going to be updated. So the ad will never be old because there will always be those pool homes in Las Vegas that knew we hit the market because that's a live link to your site. So yeah, and they'll shop right there from your website and and uh, their information will automatically go into KB Core or Follow Up Boss or um uh, Lofty, whatever you're using. Got it. So basically the last question, which is the third one. So you can take those homes, then you market them to those potential buyers? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then when you get them, well, we're gonna talk about that in a minute. So um, let's okay. let's let's see how let's see how it's going. Share screen. Oh, it's still uploading. Oh my goodness. Almost there. Almost there. Anyway, but but yeah, so um, so yeah, you can either market listings that you have, you can market for sale, like lists of homes, okay. you can market your videos, you can uh do your market updates. Uh, and then uh Street Text also has a whole PDF library of like 
tips to, you know, get your home ready to sell, stuff like that. Super easy stuff that's already built for you. You just send it out and then you get the lead and then you call and you text and you email. So anyway, all right. Uh, it's still processing. Dr. <laughs> Carrie Jones, you got a question? Yes. Good morning, Wendy. I have two listings, one of the duplex, the other one of the dentist's office. How would you suggest I market those to expand the exposure and get some buyers? Same way. Okay. Same way. New listing, because it's a listing, right? Yeah, both they both are. Yeah. Yeah. You just do a new listing ad. And and the people that are attracted to that, because you'll have a picture of it and you'll put a little bit of a description in there so they'll know that it's a commercial building, you know, or whatever. Uh, you put that in there and, and they'll click and you'll get leads. So how much do you think I should spend per day? I would just start out with seven. Uh, okay. It's seven's the lucky number. Just kidding. It's not really. Uh, you could do five a day. Uh, if you're retargeting, it's like $2 a day. Unless you have 86,000 leads you're trying to retarget, then you're going to spend a little bit more. But um Anyway, but yeah, no, this is perfect for it. And, and like you probably saw, I had a, I had an ad for an event we're doing Friday, a, a realtor event. So I can, you can run an ad for anything on here because there's custom, custom ads too. So. Okay. So it's retargeting an additional fee. Uh, yeah. It's, it's two fifty a month for all of it. Okay. Got it. Yeah. And I wouldn't do anything less. The retargeting is just gold. Okay. So, um, so Las Vegas. Okay. So right now we are running, I know it looks like the same ad, but, um, uh, Las Vegas luxury market update, but this is the retargeting ad that I'm going to retarget my current database to. So, uh, current image. Okay, so and then next, see, this is where you're going to say what you want to do. I just want to get some video plays. I don't have to put a destination in there if I'm just trying to do a reach. And then you're going to click next. And here's where you're going to select your audiences. So I have a lot of audiences. So I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to do my luxury retargeting because these are everybody in follow-up boss that I have tagged with a luxury, um, tag, you know, so there's luxury home buyers that have clicked on luxury home ads. There's also luxury home sellers that I'm retargeting. So all of those people are going to be in there. And, uh, but I can also go in here uh, because I already set up my audiences and you can do Instagram for the last 365 days. And you can do, those are everybody that's engaged with you last 300 Facebook, uh, 365 days. And then, um, so, and then you want to do right here. So street text, 25% or better. So like everybody that uh, has watched at least 25% of my video is going to see this, you know, so you can, uh, you can do that, but that's kind of where you build your list right there. And then you click next Instagram, next daily budget, two bucks, two bucks a day. Cause retargeting is way cheaper than running your regular ads because you have a very, a much smaller audience. So, so there's this. And then I'm going to tell you one more thing and then we'll open up questions. I see we have a lot of questions. So um, 10 people have raised their hand. Okay. Well, if I could get this to work a little faster. Okay. A lot of questions in the chat too. Okay. I know. <laughs> Come on. Come on. All right. We'll get to, uh, here we go. Finish. I just want to finish this up really quick so I can show you all of the good stuff. Admit here. So this is my favorite part. So that was a retargeting ad, right? So this is ad bundles. 
So what I like is uh, for those of you guys in Krista Mayshore's group, yes, you run ads for you know two weeks or whatever. Uh, this allows you to have them rotate every day. <laughs> so cool, right? You can you can uh, I have a luxury bundle with all my luxury uh videos. So uh, I did like luxury home seller pain points. And then I started doing videos based on those. So, but they rotate every day to my whole database. Everybody on, that has been engaged with me on Facebook and Instagram and video views. So anyway, so instead of them seeing the same video over and over and over, these rotate every day. And they're so easy to like put together into a bundle and, um, and get them out there. So uh, this is something that I did for my luxury. Then I also have where I took my um, my listings, right? Because listings sell fast here in Las Vegas. And I was like, oh my God, this was such a great video. I didn't even have time to market it. So I took it once it sold and turned them into seller ads right? So learn how I got my seller through probate and top dollar in less than 60 days. Uh, tired of, uh, oh, I track serious offers. Learn how he sold this uh, fifth, this home for $15,000 more than list price when the other realtor couldn't. Uh, how I got my sellers a full renovation with no upfront expenses plus $20,000 over market value on their sale. Uh, so I took my listing videos that I did for each listing and I rotated them and turned them into like seller ads. So, so that's also an option right there. Um, but the bundles, the bundles are huge. I love them. Love them. All right. I know that was a lot. So let's start with Mariah. Hi, Wendy. Hi from Hi. Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, the last thing, I have other questions, but you just showed us these bundles. Uh, is this something like a split testing? So you're running simultaneously these different videos and depending which one is getting more views and more response, it rotates. Is that what no. it's doing with Street Touch? No, I'm literally putting them in as a retargeting video, okay, retargeting my whole database, uh -huh. retargeting everybody on Facebook and Instagram that have engaged with me, right? And retargeting everybody that has watched my videos. Yes. And it's, yes. it's rotating one every day. So I have about 30 days of content and it's a different video every day. Awesome. So instead of so that basically, the this same is like video over and over, they're seeing different videos. It's every rotating. Day. Got mm -hmm. it, got it. It doesn't have the, the ad fatigue that is expected if someone is looking the same ad over and over. Got it. That was the last question. The first one that I have is when you're doing a lead gen ad, um, I like to have uh, some form of either a guide or any kind of a, a tool where they could download. Um, is that how we do it with street text? Basically, yep. you, you yeah. I put the link to my squeeze squeeze page or landing page with Katie uh -huh. Four. Where do I where do I add? Do I add the link to that guide that I'm promoting or whatever yeah, so, uh, to? Yeah, so you can so you can either create a static post, which is static means photo, right, of your guide, right? Click here for your free guide. Uh, you can either do that or you can turn your guide into a flip book, right? And then video, do a screen share video of you flipping through your book and run it as a video ad. And then that video ad is a link to your landing page. Um, and then, uh, yeah, or, um, or they have guides that you can use already built and you just click send click send click send super easy could it be could it be in the description because i usually do videos i rarely do a static ad i i prefer to do videos it, it is just the, the way i do it right. um yeah. but so i was thinking in the video, video 
Yeah, if in the video, if I say click below to get the, my guide or to get how how you can lower your interest rate or whatever, whatever the case might be, could mm -hmm. that be the way? Because yep. in, in, in yep. Ads Manager, you have a different ways to set this up. Yeah, no, you, you just do it that way. And uh, remember how I showed you there was three different options. One is awareness where you don't need a link. One is to uh -huh. drive people to a website, right? So that's the one you would use is the middle one, driving people to your website, which is your landing page. So, and you would just type what you want okay. in there. And the third option? And the third option. Okay. And the third, the third, the third. Yeah, I <laughs> use the first option and the second option. That's all I use. So if you want to check out the third okay. option. Okay, okay. got it. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> got it. All right. Like uh, and last question. Okay. Last question. Um, when you choose the audience, I see you can retarget to people that have been already associated with you any way, shape or form, like watch your ads. Um, can we also upload there the custom ad audience? Yes. yes. That. Okay. Yeah. And if you have any audiences in your, um, in your ads manager, uh, mm -hmm. they'll automatically come into street text. You won't have to recreate them. I don't have to upload them. So whatever I have in the ads manager, it transfers automatically. Yeah. Cool so once you set up your retargeting in street text and you go to audience, it's going to pull all your audiences from your ads manager. Very nice. All right. That, that was it for me. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Lisa, good morning. Mm -hmm. How are you? Hey, good morning. Um, does Street Text also have uh, for you to run investment um, ads? You can so, like, run whatever you, you want. Do they have like templates already pre made so you can have a format type uh, for investors? A format. A format. Well, well, do they, you know how that I've been on Street Text and I ran a couple ads, but I haven't looked for to design one uh, to attract investors for listings I already have. Right, so I would run it as a new listing in this area. And when you write in there, you say, this is perfect for investors, blah, 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 right? And then they're mm -hmm. gonna click on it and they're gonna go into your KB Core and, and then you're gonna be able to do whatever you want with them or your follow-up boss or whatever CRM you're using. Okay. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah it's, no, it's just, it's I was just, just wondering. That. But yeah, no, there's no investor funnel. But there's there's a lot of cool tools that you could use to, you know, just generate your own, especially if you have your own listings already. Yeah, I, I would use those 100% because number one, you're helping your seller. Number two, you're getting more investors. Right, right. All Thank right. You. You're welcome. Linda, good morning. Good morning. Um, I was looking at that allied um, link and um, it's. And well, California people are moving from California. Is I didn't see a way to see where if any areas were moving to California. Right. Do you so know of any? There was moving from and moving to. There was two columns. I know, but they were all not. Nobody was moving to Los Angeles, so <laughs> I, right. it said moving from and then to. Um. So I'm like, is there? And I was kind of looking around to see if there was a button to see if anybody was. Um. So right here, right, I there. right, right here. That's where they're. So they're moving from Los Angeles to Chicago, and people that moved to Los Angeles came from here. Oh, okay, but it's showing that they're moving out of California. Okay, I was wondering if there was like a moving to LA, but there is. It's right here. Moved from so people from Chicago, Illinois are moving to LA. People from New York, New York are moving to LA. People from Seattle are moving to LA. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah, I took it that they were moving from those, they're moving from there to LA. Oh, got it. Okay, and then this is moving from LA to Chicago. And okay, back. and so, uh, in street text, should I um drop pins in those cities? Uh, yes, yeah, so if my you're, listing. Yeah, if you have a listing, 
Yeah, I would definitely drop pins in these listings right here because they may want your listing. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Blanca, good morning. Hi, good morning. Um, I was wondering, I, I know that you had mentioned that um, Street Text works really well with follow-up boss. I have KV Core, and it doesn't sound like they integrate very nicely, or is it just a lot? Oh, I have all my leads going into KV Core and into follow-up boss. So as far as follow-up boss goes, whatever goes in there automatically becomes an audience. No, KV Core doesn't do that with Street Text yet, but all of my leads come right into Street Text so that we can set them up on a search, set them up on a uh, you know, um, market report and, and do the things. So we have them going into both places because we do different things with each one. Is there a way to get it from KV Core onto Street Text though? You know, to so upload them as an audience? Yes, yes, oh, okay. you can. It's it's a little bit different. You gotta upload or download all of your KV Core into a CSV file and then upload them as an audience into Street Text. But yes, it is possible. Okay, so just a little bit more work then. Yeah, and it's two fifty a month, and then additional the bundles or whatever your ads you're running. Is that correct? Yeah. So two fifty a month does not include ad spend. So even if you're using it or not, you're going to be spending the two fifty a month. Okay, got it. Thank yeah, you. it's just a super cool platform that you can use to, you know, to uh, run your leads okay, or you. run your ads. All right, Jackie, good morning. Good morning. Um, thank you so much for doing this. Even though I use Street Text, I learned a bunch of new things today. So that was awesome. Yay! Yeah, it was. So can, I know you um, use Street Text CRM a little bit. Can you tell like, Hey, I use Street Tech CRM for this length of time. It goes into follow up bus and, and KV Core. And um, how long do you have it in there? Can you kind of tell your okay. your workflow with no, that? I I actually use the CRM portion of Street Text like this much. Sorry, okay. I already have two CRMs. I'm not going to deal with another one, but I do use their funnel that's behind yeah. the seller leads. So the seller ads that I run, I I let that funnel run so that I don't have to rebuild a funnel like that in one of my other platforms. So, so there is step-by-step -step process of what we do for um, street text uh, seller leads inside my Notion pages in case anybody wants them. Joanne can drop a stand store link uh, in the chat. But basically it says, this is my first email that goes out. This is, this is my first text that goes out. This is what we do when we, you know, um, run a CMA and this is what we set them up on HomeBot. And then, you know, these are the things that you do. Cause it, the thing is, is it's an amazing tool, right? It's an amazing system, but you still got to do the things. Yeah. You still got to do the things. They're not going to so you... on my pretty red door. Yeah, hey, I'm ready to buy or sell. Like you got. I do don't it. know why. Oh my gosh! So you run the funnel and you do all of those things that you put in the stand store, also in okay. conjunction with each other. Yeah, awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, and then all my videos and everything that's inside my funnel is inside the Notion pages too. So, so you'll have all those. All Thank right, you. Janice. Good morning. Hi. Hi, I'm actually, sorry, I'm actually Angie, but I'm the digital oh. marketing manager for Janice, so it's okay. Um, street text is new to me. It's not something that I ran ads through, and almost the simplicity of it throws me. Right? <laughs> Does that sound crazy? But here's a couple of things I've had the issues with. I think you've cleared up the cost because I need to watch I'm in charge of the ad spend. So I need to know how that cost is working. I think you figured that out for me. But where did you, how do you add the ads in the bundle? I haven't figured out how to put my ads into the bundle instead of starting a whole new bundle. Okay. And then my other things were, you popped up that 25% who watched your video. Where did you get that from? And then uh, earlier you said, Go ahead. <laughs> okay, one at a time. Yeah, and I'm trying only have to five get minutes left, so I'm going to try to make it quick. So when you go to add bundles, right? And yes. let's say uh, you already have ad bundles created or not, you can create an ad bundle. 
right here by selecting this button. And then you can just uh, go here and take off active. Uh, you can go all ads, like it'll pull up everything and you can just start selecting these little okay. dots on what you want to go into your bundle. You know what I mean? So you could build it however you want it. Right. And then uh, you'll choose daily for it to rotate because you could rotate daily or weekly. I like daily. Um, and then there's that. So as far as what you are talking about here for audiences, you're going to click on this little gearbox here and go into audiences. And um, that's how you get those videos. Oh, okay. Okay. So, okay. Um, okay. Sorry. That's One more as, quick that's question. As deep as I can dive into that because we so got. That's great. All of their hands you up. mentioned your neighborhood targeting and retargeting video. Was that in your Tech Tuesday group? Yes. So okay, if you go into I'll watch that. either retargeting or neighborhood, something like that. And I did a deep dive into how I grabbed all 10 luxury neighborhoods, put them into follow-up box and synced them with street tech. So thank you. All right. Sheila, good morning. How are you? Mm -hmm. So where do you get your videos or your past videos as well as the one today? Right. So, um, so you can either upload them, do new ones, or you can click, like I just did, all ads. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Your recordings. <laughs> I'm sorry. How do I get Where one? do you get your past recordings Where for Tech Tuesday? I'm sorry. Okay. I was like, I'm not following you. Okay. Sorry. You're going to go into the group, mm -hmm. uh, Tech Tuesday with Wendy, and we're going to fly in there really quick. Because I'm almost out of time and Joanne's going to give me the look. Okay, wait, that's me. That's me. This is Tech Tuesday right here. Uh, you can go here to this little search tool. Mm -hmm. And you can type in uh, retarget. Retarget. And there's retargeting. There's retargeting audiences, uh, video marketing, retargeting. So that's kind of how you search. You just kind of type it in. Um, there's street text retargeting part two. There's a lot of these tech Tuesdays in here, or I mean, uh, street text in here. So you can always go in here and type in street text and you know watch all the trainings on that. Too, so. so any so any any of your past videos like KB Core, you've done some training on that. So uh -huh. you type it in the search bar and yep. it'll bring up your past recordings. Yep, absolutely. Okay. All right. Isabel, good morning. Uh, we got morning, three Wendy. <laughs> yeah, quick question. The street okay. tax fee of $250, does that also include the video and the retargeting features in there? That's everything. Yeah. Really? Because uh, before, I, th I thought it was a separate fee. Yeah, like so so if you use my link, it's mm -hmm. a special. It's a special because they, they're doing me a favor uh, to give you guys. Wow, that's yeah. great. So it used to be uh, a lot more. So uh -huh. definitely use the link and then you'll get the deal. So, um, and if you already are with Street Text and you want the deal, just, just message Marcus. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, when Wendy. Said, and then I'll get in trouble again, but that's okay. I'm good. Chris, <laughs> you are muted. You're still muted. Sorry. If I'm uh, doing retargeting, I've got over 10,000 people in my follow-up boss. Should I still do $2 a day? And should I run them through a system to find out if they, what emails are bad or not? Or don't worry about that. No, I wouldn't worry about it at all because it's and only going to grab. It's only going to grab the people that it can it can, can use market. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I just wanted to make sure. And then when you're doing your ads on a listing and you want to show the seller what like all your success, right? All the people it was in front of. Do you show them the ad spend, or is there different reports you can show without showing them how much you spent? Uh, well, I actually had a, a Canva thing that I created that has okay. like stats on it and I just kind of fill them in there so that they can see it um, okay. uh, for my listing presentation. 
uh, or for, you know, CMA drop-offs, whatever you're doing. But okay. yeah, and that's the thing is you want to ramp those numbers up so that you can show up. You can screenshot it and put it in some of your marketing. That's what I used to do and so that they could see. But I always update my sellers every Friday with numbers. So Okay, great. Really and you're spending um, for the seller ads like $7 a day and it's nonstop until the listing sold? Yeah, so I turn off the two that aren't doing as good and I keep that one running until it's sold. And then I do sold ones. After two weeks or one week, did you say? One week? Uh, I do it till it sells. No, I mean the other two ads, you're two and a half. Oh, I usually wait three or four days and then I look to see how they're doing. Okay, perfect. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, one this more. Awesome. Kelly, Kelly, you're up. Thank you so much. This has been so helpful. Um, I'm really new to funnels. So does this take place? Like this is what you run your funnels through? Do you do click funnels? Is this really a complicated question? All right. So are you using Mayshore method? Well, I'm in the program, but I don't love it because I love KV Cork. So that's where I'm torn. Is that, Do I spend the time to transfer it or do I stay here? Because you're making this look like it's it's doable with KV Core, and I don't have to go through all of that Mayshore method stuff. And I think that's probably a trick question here. So it is a trick question because you're gonna get me in trouble. Krista's <laughs> program is amazing. The Mayshore method is amazing. Uh, she will teach you how to run ads to get them to go to your funnels. Yes. Like I said, I use street text before I met Krista. So this has been my go-to. It's super easy, headache free, and it's a point and shoot system. So that's why I like it. And it's bringing leads in. So Anyway, so, is this funnels? Is this funnels? <laughs> so, so kind of, yes, they're clicking on something and then they're getting dripped on for nine months. So that's kind of a funnel. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, you guys, I got to hop into the VIP room. If you want more amazing uh, talk about street text and help with actually pushing the buttons uh, in the stand store is the link to sign up for VIP. It's a super cool club where we go in right after this call into the VIP room and press the buttons. If you are on my team, I will see you guys in an hour. And I'm so sorry, I didn't get to everybody's questions. Uh, feel free to uh, post them in street or in the um, Tech Tuesday group in Facebook. And I will get to them as soon as I'm done today. See you guys. Bye. Bye.